don't think this is the right song for this story, but... song but it's not right for this story pure evil uncle given stop hey hey ladies and gentlemen it's your girl miss hurricane toya this is a really tough story and this is why i keep saying to women be careful who you fall in love with who you bring around your family who you bring around your nieces and nephews who you bring around your female cousins because some people are just disgusting pure evil uncle given life for beating niece to death the heartbroken mother of teenage Louis, teenager Louise Smith branded her murderer pure evil as he was given a life sentence with a minimum of 25 years. Now you're talking. Rebecca Cooper said she will never forgive Shane Mays, 30, for beating her 16-year-old daughter to death before defiling and burning her body. The predatory killer lured Louise, his wife's niece, to a secluded spot face spot sorry causing fatal injuries he smirked as he sat in the, the dock to be sentenced at winchester crown court after being found guilty by a jury in a statement miss cooper said you killed my daughter louise in such a traumatic way but when then to do what you did afterwards is beyond words we are you are a monster what gave you the right to do that you damaged her so bad that I didn't have a chance to say goodbye, hold her hand or even kiss her. I will never forgive Shane Mays. Louise's father, Bradley Smith, said he was now tortured with nightmares. Vulnerable, vulnerable student Louise moved in with her aunt Shazlin Jane Mays and her killer at the end of April after quarrelling quarrel, quarrel, quarrel with her mother. The court heard. All, this is all over a boyfriend. She wanted to have a boyfriend and her parents didn't want to have a boyfriend. She'd still be here if they just said, look, we'll compromise. Sometimes you just got to talk to your fucking kids. <laughs> Raz broke out after, uh, between the trio as they shared a small flat in Haven, Hampshire. And Louise complained to her boyfriend, Bradley Kershaw, that Maze had, who had extremely low IQ of 63 would flirt with her and pin her down. Prosecutor said he persuaded her not to her to go to the woods by offering cannabis with the aim of sexually assaulting her. Mays, who admitted manslaughter, told the court he punched Louise many times to the face and had heard the bones crack after losing his temper. So she must have said, no, don't do it, don't touch me, and he weren't having it. I keep saying, all these women... There you go. I keep saying to all these women that have these have kids and and date and all these women, they need to start start really doing some bloody credit checks on these dudes because these dudes are not meant to be around kids. Period. Not even you, but people. Are looking at it in a lustful way and i'm telling you i've sat in court where guy, guys have gone out looking for single women or oh i like that child i've heard this, i've heard a guy say i like the child so i went with the aunt the ugliest one just to get to the baby this is why i can't work in the court no more because certain stuff was sticking in my head and it was really too much and uh yeah they they go praying on on people that are in vulnerable situations. So you have to be careful who you lie down with. 